Hey, Maladon had it. This is Pokashevsky. We're going to see him running the point a little bit. He's an interesting player as he knocks down the first shot of the game again. You'll see him running the show at times here tonight with seating for the Clippers, but for potential ping pong balls for Oklahoma City, Pokashevsky knocks down the three. It's 12 to five. But really, all across the league, something is in play uh, for every team seemingly in action here tonight. Something like that, but you couldn't script it any better than that. Pokashevsky with a graceful glide inside. You know, Marcus Moore Sr. And, and that kind of right there from the perimeter. And it's paid off for the Clippers, and I can't wait to see it for the postseason. Thunder regain a double-digit event. Pokashevsky, by the way, is 5 for 5 with 13 points. He averages 7 Man, on... Man, for the that jump shot. Pokashevsky, I mean, yeah? 6 for 6 and has 15 points here. All of the intrigue, but a lot of intrigue was still hung in the balance on who's doing what and where and how. You know, I mean, yeah. The playing game has a lot to do with that. Krzyzewski backpedals to get a longer runway. Has to cross over his fellow rookie in Oturu. Mm. Fades and fires. I don't know what is in that fanny pack, but I need to know he is 7 of 10 from the field. Well, there's a whole lot of game in there this um, evening. Dallas would win the tiebreaker between those three teams. They would be the five seed. Portland would be the six. The Lakers would be the seven. Footwork by Bradley. To the league. And a graceful glide off the window. A whistle and a foul will send the line here. 104, 102. Thunder out in front. And now, if the Clippers win, they would be the three seed. In terms of Denver losing in Portland. If they fall because of that tiebreak, Krzyzewski knocks down the three. They would stay at the four spot, which is where they were coming into today's games. Thunder lead by four. They'll be the three seed. They fall to four with a loss. Either way, it's a handful in round one. Portland or Dallas. I have no preference one way or the other in the fourth quarter. <laughs> oh, great pass, but how about the read by... That beat a cup back there oh. right back. And how about Pokashevsky, man? It seemed like when he went down to the to the G League bubble, yeah, he, he became came out a different player. And Speaking of Pokos, <laughs> you just don't like seeing those those calls get made. It's Poku steps in, elbow jumper, nice and smooth. Yeah, he shot that ball. A couple of buckets. Yeah, he shot that ball like he had house shoes on. And how about that the deflection? Well, they're doing it with their defense, and that's tough to do. It looked like ball. He just threw the ball up in the air. Poku, a little stutter step, hangs in the air, but the block by Washington. That created opportunities for him in transition. This is, once again, good ball movement. So important in 2021. Well, and I think that's been the nature of the game, you know. To the two guard, the Michael George primary defender, and then command help from the weak side, and it seems like he always makes the right, that, that right. The range and the, and the kind of experience yet, but he's going to be a great shooter in this league. Pukashevsky from the corner. It's nothing but net, keeping the OKC Thunder close. They have the shot clock for Halliburton. Tough spin and turns it over. They got a three on two the other way. Pokashevsky punching it home. Thoughts on that deal one way or the other? Well, I think that the Clippers got a couple great players, and I'm just the curious, not that, you know, Portland did it, but the curiosity for me is what direction is Portland going? In? And you No, know, number one post move that they teach you as a young post player. Man, working against Halliburton, they got to get it up in time, just beating the shot clock expiration. Wow. Their foot on the gas, Katie, and doing a good job with their pace and tempo right now. They really have been consistently keeping that up the last few games, much more than we've seen right. throughout the season. Scored for Barnes, downtown three, no good. Kuszewski will bring it up. A little Euro move, man. What does he do here? He goes in for the one-handed easier slam. You know what we call that? That's two for a dollar. And, and he's got to kind of got a little smooth. Assist. And on the back side, it's Giddy sniffing out that lob past the pal. And it's from eight down to six as Giddy put it on a platter for Pokashevsky. And the 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 Set up by Giddy. Poku steps into it from downtown. That one splashes home. Got deflected. 
Lowry thought he was fouled. This is Pukashevsky. Lowry gets a nice screen from Schuess, and then it's stolen away by Gilchus Alexander. Nice pass. Pukashevsky with a dunk. Timeout here. Quick pick six type turnover here allows a two on one fast break. Shake Gilgis Alexander is setting up. Harass Gilgis Alexander. Pokashevsky triples. Ty Jerome, a 6 5 point guard, helped take Virginia to the national championship a few years back. This is Pokashevsky who is heated up in this quarter. And the seven footer scores again. Dort for three. Pokashevsky. Little bump off by Watson. And an offensive rebound. Poku. He'll set the feet and knock it down. Three point game coming out of the timeout. Giddy trying to get a little separation and a pass just over the outstretched arm. Poku lets it go again from downtown. Showed a lot of body control on that. Some serious athleticism. Superman does. Oh, he slipped it to Poku on the backside, and Poku used the rim to negate the shot blocking ability. Puts the move on. Great defense by Wiggins. Just cut off that baseline valve, and he forces the turnover. Poku sets the feet, lames, fires, and hits. Denver's taking a lot of three point shots. The Thunder doing a good job of not fouling them. Oh, Poku bisecting the defense. Goes right around. Violation. That's a very disciplined defense. Oh, a dive. Muscala caught that pass from Pokashevsky. And that's tough for young guys to understand because, you know, you want to prove yourself. You know, you want to say, I, I can score. But when you get your teammates involved, that's tough to do. The, the play on, yeah. The play that's right. on. When you see the official pointing forward. So fourth quarter we go in that... Really excellent ball movement that we've been seeing throughout the night from OKC continues to open up the fourth quarter. One foot. He's got his good stroke for a big man. That's good defense by Poku to stay down. Since he seems like he's got a lot of little nifty moves. Oh, Poku got it back. What a play. For the regular season gets going next Wednesday from Salt Lake City. Poku running the break. Nifty move. Fake the pass. Glides to the rim and scores. OKC still with room with under a minute to go, but going to need a bucket. Poku snaps a streak of six consecutive misses with the skyscrapers. He comes out of the pack. Nice little block back. Looks like Poku may have disrupted that shot. And how about that? Just in the game. Hello, I just want to let you know I blocked a shot at 21 and a half points. What would be exact? 21.6 points. Siakam is 21.5. Oh, Pokashevsky a little up and under move on Boucher. There's a deflection. And it's going to stay in bounds to Maladone. Maladone goes right at Siakam. Scoops it up. Guarded by Jerome. Pascal with 15 in the opening quarter. Loses it. Wanted a call. Won't get it. Pokashevsky on a kick out. Jerome. And back to back threes. But the Raptors just get so much production from their starters. Van Vliet got caught in the air, turns it over to Pokashevsky. He's looking to distribute. Instead, he'll take it himself, gliding up to the rim. The smooth drive from the second-year player. Does getting by that first line of defense, Michael, just come down to, to dribble penetration? Well, absolutely. Yeah, just being committed on the dribble. Swings around to Dort for the reload three. Pokashevsky cleans up the miss and fires it off the glass. It's going close in. Okashevsky catch fire three. That is good from the outside. He's got himself a triple. Malinos stumbled on the drive. Siakam boy, a little too soft on that baseline pass. Rare mistake for Siakam who's played a very solid game as Pokashevsky drills another one from downtown. So get ready to head out on the road. Philadelphia, Friday night, Pokashevsky.